If you click this video, then I can guess that you are someone who isn't able to get your desired lap times around Spain and you can't figure out how other people are gaining those valuable temps or seconds. Well, if that's you, then I can guarantee by the end of this video, you're going to learn where and how you can gain those valuable temps or seconds. My name is Anthony and though I'm not the fastest at Spain, as you can see, I'm roughly about half a second off the esports pace. I still think I'm faster than enough to be able to help you guys improve your skills around the circuit. So with my telemetry data from Racenet, I'm going to show you guys how to drive at Spain on the limit. Okay then guys, so as we start our lap here at Catalonia, you can see we're gonna be on this green sort of thing here. You wanna take a wider line at the start of the lap because that's gonna gain you a few extra kilometers that you can take all the way down to turn one and gain those valuable, not even tenths, hundreds of seconds really. Now you want to open up the DRS as soon as you can of course and then you'll be bombing it down to turn one which is a very tricky corner by the way considering it is a chicane that goes straight into a flat right hander so going into this corner you basically want to have your right hand tires just right of the white line that is pretty much the limit of course and then you want to be braking as you reach this gray tarmac which is roughly going to be about 60 meters from the corner now you want to brake in a straight line and as hard as you can of course as you go into the corner trail brake into the corner and then as you pass the 50 meter ball, that's when you want to downshift into fifth gear and turn into this corner, hitting the red and right curbs right about here at the apex, boom. And then you want to get on your, your foot on the throttle as soon as you can, whilst being smooth because you don't want to actually reach 100% on the throttle. And the reason for that is because you're going to be taking quite a lot of this second curbing here. And if you do uh, take it at 100% of the throttle, it's going to send you spinning. And also if you take too much of this curb, you'll bottom out and you'll also spin. So the limit of this, as you can see that yellow part there that pops up a little bit, that's pretty much the limit. You wanna have your tires as close to that as possible. And then obviously you come off the tarmac. Now I believe in my hot lap, I did use this green part of the track. Not ideal, but you can still recover from this point. Uh, ideally you wanna still be on the tarmac here. And now you have a flat right-hander. Now this right-hander is a little bit tricky because scrubbing is a lot more important in this year's game with the new tire model now so what you want to do is you actually want to take a wider line going into the corner because what those will do is it will allow you to turn in and then get a tighter corner throughout this entire section because if you take a tight entry you're going to wash out wide because you have to stay flat through this corner or you're going to lose too much time so you want to take a wider entry in this will allow you to take a more tight line through this section here you're going to be in eighth gear roughly around about this point and then once you reach the end of the red and white curbs that's when you can let the car drift out to the left hand side as the next corner is obviously a right hander and this is the end of sector one now as you can see from the meter boards here they've actually changed it in this year's game in the previous games you couldn't actually see the meter boards because they were all the way off to the to the left as you can see from the 50 uh, but in this year's game they've actually put it on the floor right next to you so you can see where the meter boards are so just as you're coming up towards the 50 meter board you can then brake, boom, right around about here, which is roughly 60 meters, downshift into fifth gear like you did in the first corner. And then you want to be as close to the red and white curbing without actually touching it. You don't actually spin if you touch it. It's just if you're on the red and white curb, then it means you've taken too tight of an entry into this corner and you will wash out wide on the exit. So you want to be as close as possible without touching it and then get on the throttle as soon as you can. Uh, by this point here, you pretty much already want to be flat. Then you want to bomb back over to the right-hand side as you've got a left-hander. This corner is quite tricky. Sixth gear, you can see that the braking point is off to the right-hand side. It's the electrical box that you can see there. You can see it in your peripheral vision. So if you're wondering, how the hell can I look to my right and, and see my braking zones and my apexes and all of that at the same time, don't worry. You will see this with your peripheral vision, especially once you've done a lot of practice. So sixth gear into this corner. Uh, I believe I start this corner on the tarmac and then just drift the car out wide just before I turn in. So down into third gear for this corner, pretty much want to use all of the track on the entry. So you want to have your right hand tires pretty much on that green strip there and then turn into this corner. Now this corner, it isn't simulated uh, properly like it is in real life, of course, on the games. However, on just like real life, you can actually pick up the throttle so early on this, on this um, corner. Here. So in real life, the reason why, as Nico Rosberg explained, basically the wind is coming to you directly, so you're, you've got extra downforce. On the game, you pretty much want to take that same approach, get on the throttle as early as you can, fourth gear, wash the car out wide, make sure that you're using all the tracks. You want to have the left-hand tires just left of the white line, and then you want to take a path of least resistance to this next corner, so you want to be on the inside here, drift the car back out to the um, right-hand side so you can take this next corner, which is a, a pretty fast left-hander. No. This one's pretty tricky, 
as soon as you get to the red and white curbs here this is where you want to start breaking on the red and white curbs in sixth gear down into fourth gear and by the time that you actually get to the second yellow sausage curb or whatever you want to call those things there by the time you get to the second one you pretty much already want to be back on the throttle not 100 of course but you want to start picking up the throttle at this point so that you can gain all of that time because it is an uphill section here if you get on the throttle too late you're going to lose time but it's quite tricky as well because you don't want to go too wide here because if you go roughly around about here the car's spinning doesn't matter what conditions it is could be dry wet or spinning because the car's going to bottom out so you want to be very careful make sure that the car is roughly around about here and then you can go in a straight line just to sort of get out of that traction limited phase and then back on the tarmac here sixth gear for this next corner which is turn nine on the entry you want to use the red and white curbing just a little bit there just so you can get as wide of an entry as possible um, you want to lift off the throttle just a little bit and then pretty much as soon as you lift off you want to be back on the throttle this is just to give the car just that bit more rotation through there so you don't wash out wide on the exit um, you know you've taken a decent line here where by the time you get to this yellow curbing here that you're pretty much on the red and white curbing very close to it and obviously you can see that it's pretty blind coming out of this corner so that's why you want to sort of use that as a reference this is about as much curb as i'd recommend using you pretty much want to get back onto the tarmac and hit drs at the same time as that will gain you the most amount of time down to the next corner which you're going to be taking this corner in eighth gear this is the brand new turn 10 so you can break later because it is a faster corner than it used to be in the previous games you want to break just before or just on the 100 this one you want to break after the 100 so roughly around about 85 to 80 meters uh, break down use all the curbing on the entry down into fourth gear then you want to hit the apex just right around about here then you want to pick up the throttle as soon as you can while staying tight to the left hand side which means that you have to be very smooth with your inputs you'll see that from my telemetry data um so fifth gear coming into this corner now uh, what i like to do is i like to continue to be flat out right until around about where this yellow curbing is coming off of my screen that's when i break downshift into fourth gear and then you want to just hug this corner as much as possible it's a very long one turn 12 um but you'll sort of learn when you should be picking up on the throttle really which is around about the middle of the corner but with practice you'll learn more about that and then use all the track on the exit as possible basically have your car position like this upshift to fifth gear then for this next corner turn 13 you want to break just before the black box and one thing i forgot to mention on the exit of turn 10 is you want to be super smooth with the um, throttle mainly because your rears are going to be super hot you want to be you want to be as cool with the tires as possible because if you're not then you're going to be losing time throughout the whole of sector three here so that's why you want to be super smooth with the throttle as well but just before the black box uh in fifth gear i believe yeah in fifth gear downshift into fourth gear carry as much speed through this corner as possible without going too wide go too wide and you hit this yellow sausage curb here then it, your car's going to bottom out once again and you're going to spin so pretty much you want to have the car positioned right around about here and then you want to be back on the tarmac as soon as possible because you need to get over to the right hand side in fourth gear for this final chicane so just before you reach the red or white curbing that's when you, that's when you want to break into third gear then you obviously want to hit the curbing as much as possible which is pretty much just a red and white curbing and you just carry as much speed as you possibly can throughout this chicane upshift the fourth if you need to and then for this final exit you pretty much want to have the car placed like this you don't want to touch the yellow sausage curb or else you will spin around so to get maximum grip this is where you're going to want to be now for the final corner just like the when you took it the first time it's obviously flat but this time you want to take a tighter line since you're ending your lap so be as close to the red and white curbing as you possibly can and then you just bomb it down to the start finish line straight and that is a lap around spain so what i'm going to do now is show you guys a lap around here that i've done which is pretty much my limit for this track at the moment and then we can talk about some of the other track guides that i've got available for you guys
Okay then guys, so now that you've watched this track guide, you should be able to go onto the track and be able to gain valuable temps or even seconds depending on what your lap times were before you watch this track guide. Now you should be able to see on the screen somewhere right about now a playlist of other track guides very similar to this. So if you want to learn how to master all the other circuits, make sure to keep an eye on my track guide videos. Make sure to smash the like button by the way as well on this video. And also let me know in the comment section how much time you were able to gain thanks to this track guide. Make sure to subscribe if you're new and you want to catch more of these and I'll catch you guys in my next video.